So the holidays are coming up. That means more days off, which is great. It also means less time to get stuff done. A lot of folks I'm talking to right now, they're trying to figure out how to get everything done in a short amount of time. And what's made worse is they realize they're still trying to chase their goals for the end of the year. And they're running out of time. They got two months left and they realize that they have about half the work days. So their use of time is becoming even more and more important to their success. So when I talk to people that don't have a lot of time, I, I talk about it a lot of different ways to measure it. Uh, one of them is to, to log it. And there's a lot of ways to do that. You can do it digitally. Um, there's tools like Toggle. Uh, you can do it with a spreadsheet. You can do it with a pencil and paper. And one way is just keep a keep a pad by your by your computer or with you and just note down what you've done every 10 minutes. And whatever you're doing, you log that and, you, and then you reflect on that and say, okay, where am I spending a lot of time? And should I, am I really spending my time? Am I investing my time where I want the results? Um, the other thing you can do is you can look at your calendar, assuming you're using a calendar. If you're not using a calendar, you can start using a calendar. But then go reflect on that calendar and say, hey, is, is the time I'm spending allocated to, to my goals? So either way you want to reflect on your time, the easiest way, just, just start making a note of it. Sometimes you don't even need to analyze it. <laughs> you just got to look at it and realize, hey, this is not what I need to be doing. So if you want to talk about that, give me a call. I am doing a workshop uh, this Friday at the Walton Chamber. Uh, it's called Time Rich, and we're going to talk about how to do this and how to make it work for you. And uh, sure, it's going to take you an hour or so, but imagine what it will save between now and the end of the year. So John Davis, talk to you soon.